Blessings, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is me again, uh, coming to you today to share with you a dream that I had, a prophetic dream. Now, in the past, I used to receive a lot of prophetic dreams, um, but then there came a point when the dreams would stop. And so the last prophetic dream that I received, other than the one that I shared with you concerning Obamacare and um, Obama and the presidency, uh, before that, about a year ago, I received a prophetic dream about God's people being in a classroom. And so the significance of that dream was that class was in session. And so that means that there are some things that the Lord is about to bring their people through in this season to teach them a few things about himself and get them ready for the next move for the next season that is upon us right now. Um, and so that was like the last prophetic dream I had. And I knew from that moment on, I will be moving on, uh, moving into a different um, time in my life where I would be spending more time in God to learn uh, many different things. And as of recent, it seems like the prophetic dreams are reoccurring again in my life. And so the most recent one that I have received, uh, it was on the 2nd of April, 2017, in the morning hours while I was asleep. And so in this dream, I was visiting a town in, in the United States of America. I think we were like um, tourists in this particular city uh, and there were things to do and things to see and I was with a group of people and I believe I was like leading the group to go and see many different stuff um, and then as we were walking through the streets it it all of a sudden became nighttime and once uh, it turned to night there's a bunch of people there not just us but a bunch of tourists that was in this particular area and they all began to look up in the sky and so and they had their cameras too like their uh, camera phones uh, pointed to the sky and were recording something and then as i look up with them i see these two objects in the sky um so what i do not know is if it was either the sun or the moon it was either the sun or the moon, but I couldn't tell, but it was a bright orange in the sky. So one object could have been the sun or the moon. I knew that it had to be either one, but I couldn't really tell in a dream. And then right next to that object was like another smaller version of this bright planet-like object in the sky. It was bright as yellow. It was bright yellow. So it could have been the moon with the, with, with the rays of the sun um, shining upon it where we have seen it before but the when the moon turns to like this bright yellowish color. Or it could have just been the sun in the sky and it could have been like an eclipse that was taking place around that time. I really couldn't tell. But there was like these two objects where I saw two sets of, uh, of a, a sun, of a sun or two sets of a moon that was in the sky where one was bigger than the other and so i remember taking my phone off but some re for, for some particular reason in the dream i could not get the um the video feature of my phone to work to record this because i was thinking like hey i want to record this thing and then share it with you guys <laughs> it was funny in the dream and i was so upset that the recording feature of my phone would not work um, and when I looked up in the sky and I saw this thing, it was moving across the sky and was what you had seen before and the many different YouTube videos and photos about, you know, a second sun in the sky or it, like I said, it could have been a moon. But all I know, there's like this bright yellowish object, which could have uh, been the sun or the moon. And right next to it was like a dwarf sized planet. And every like everything stopped. All the tourism that was happening at that moment stopped, and everybody just looked up into the sky and saw this. And then I knew when I woke up from the dream, I knew that this was important. Uh, it was important because you know in Luke chapter twenty one, in verse twenty five, it says, "And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars." And so when I looked up in the sky, that's one of the scriptures that really, you know, came across my heart. But there was no panic that took place either. Like people were not in a big panic where they were running to and fro, but everything stopped as they look up in the sky and saw this wonder. And so when I received that dream, I knew that it was significant and I knew that it testified to something that will happen in the future. Um, and so I thought I'd share this dream with you all because I know many of you have been having the same kind of prophetic dreams. And in the uh, description box below, I will share with you other two prophetic dreams that I got from the Lord, which ties in uh, to this continuation, uh, to these um, things that is happening. 
Um, and so I remember a long time ago, I never shared this prophetic dream, but I asked the Lord if he can show me a vision of the rapture because everybody was getting these visions of the raptures. But I was like, well, Lord, I never got a vision of the rapture. Can you tell me, uh, can you show me, Lord, you know, can you show me, Father, what the rapture will be like? And so he did answer my request but it was so funny in which in the way he did it i was like you know what lord i asked for it and you showed me all that i needed to know because in this dream the only thing that he showed me is that everybody was walking about their business going about their everyday you know life and this was a city in new york and i remember this everybody's going about their day as if you know it was nothing out of the ordinary then all of a sudden darkness fell into the sky and everything changed and i woke up and that was like the only thing that the Lord allowed me to see concerning the rapture. And I was like, you know what, Father? I got it. If that's all you want me to know, no problem. And then another dream I'm going to share with you guys. I knew I should have shared this a long time ago, but I'm using this opportunity just to get everything out in the open. And I asked the Lord, can he show me, you know, a vision of hell? Because everybody, not everybody, but many people had a vision of hell uh, where they saw things happen in hell or dreams of hell. And I was like, you know, what, Father, I want to see this. And then he answered my prayer and he did it in such a funny way. I was like, all right, Lord, now I understand that I don't need to concern myself about that either. Because in this dream, right, I saw the Lord. Now, I'm going to share a picture with it's kind of hard to explain it. But my daughter, like she watches a TV show called Mother Goose Club. And the Lord decided to use that kind of style of presentation to show me a vision of hell. It was very cartoonish and very like kid like and I couldn't believe you know, it just made me smile when I woke up in the morning and the Lord showed me this. So um I'm gonna show I'm gonna go ahead and post a picture right now onto this um onto here so you can see what I'm looking at. And so you see the hair of the characters, right? Now imagine Jesus being in a in his white robe, right? He's floating in the air. And then he has on that style of hair in black. And then he's looking at this person. And then he began to start telling this person, like, you know, that judgment was upon him. It was a regular man. Uh, it was a man. And the Lord is speaking to him and telling him that judgment is now upon him because he didn't receive the message of salvation. And because he didn't receive the message of salvation, he would not be with him in heaven. But he would spend his time, you know, in hell. This is just me generalizing what the Lord was telling him. And then so the Lord disappeared up a chimney. Right. And the moment he disappeared up the chimney, there's like these demons that came out after this person. Now, let me tell you, these demons are so cartoonish <laughs> when it came out out of the darkness after this person that I couldn't take them serious like these demons. But I knew what they were. And so what they did is that they had this this cauldron of acid, like this burning acid, this cauldron of acid. And then they took this person. And then they begin to dump this person into the acid, right? And so now the person is screaming in a cartoonish way. And then now everything looks animated at this point. Like he dumped this person into this acid. And then when he brings them out the acid, you know, it's the person screaming. Uh, they weren't screaming like in a frightful way, but very cartoonish way. And the outline of this person when he came out the acid, he no longer had his flesh, but he was strictly bones like you see in a cartoon. When the cartoons are stripped down to their bone because, you know, they show like they burned up in fire or something like that. And so what happens at these demons, every time this person I believe was getting his flesh back, they were dumping them into this acid and pulling them back up. And you see these cartoonish bones. And now I woke up from that dream and the Lord is pretty much saying that, hey, you want to visit of hell this is all you need to know and so i'm like all right lord amen <laughs> all right father i got it i know that, that that's the arena that i don't need to worry about and you got it <laughs> uh but without i'm continuing to prolong this i was i'm thankful that i was able to present that forth because those are like two dreams that i had that i never shared and i believe there was like some other stuff but i can't recall it now or i could but i just don't want to make it longer um but the point is is that you know the lord is telling us that there's going to be signs in the sky wonders that's going to occur in the sky that's going to perplex many people um in verse 28 of luke 21 it says men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the power of heaven shall be shaken and it says and then shall they see the son of man coming in the cloud with power and great glory and when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh and he spake to them a parable behold the fig tree and all the trees when they 
Uh, when they now shoot forth, you see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise, ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh, uh, is nigh at hand. And it says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all, uh, all be fulfilled. And so my encouragement to you guys and gals, my brothers and sisters, from that dream is that, you know, there's going to be signs that's going to happen in the, in the sky. And it's going to put many people to fear. But if you are in the Lord Jesus Christ, you know that your redemption draweth nigh. So don't fear as to what is to come. But know that the Lord has you covered. He has you in the palm of his hand. He has you as a sheep that is kept within his bosom. You have nothing to fear. All right. So this is all I had to present to you guys with today. And before I close this, uh, uh, this session, I just want to pray. Father, I thank you so much for speaking and showing many signs and wonders and visions and revelations to your people in this hour to encourage them, to let them know, do not grow weary, Father. For many people are growing weary, wondering that if you are going to return soon. But truly, Father, you're calling forth for your wise virgins, virgins to be wise, that even if we get to the point where we might sleep a little bit because there is a delay, that we keep our lamps lit and we keep enough oil so this way when the time comes, you will not be left behind as the five foolish virgins. Lord, I pray that this word was refreshing to your people and to let them know, Father, that we are walking upon this path, Father, that is drawing nigh to where we will see you in the clouds and we shall be restored unto you, Father, for all eternity. We love you, Lord, and thank you so much for hearing our prayers. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.